the secret law of attraction metaphysical principles. I know many of the online have obviously watched this. This DVD, The Secret to me, it was a wonderfully life-changing movie. And yes, I've been teaching these principles speed, and I've had amazing success in my life, but when I first saw that movie, I totally understood that it was going to transform this planet in a way that nothing else had, because whilst the information may not be new, it touches people in all way that simply can't be explained. I think it's because it's a movie. It touches people in a way that when you sit down to read a book, you've got to concentrate when you, when you listen to an audio you're just hearing. But when you watch a movie, consider you can relax. You can take it in. You see the audio. You see the visual. You get connected in a whole different way, in a very emotional. And I found that with the movie that definitely happened with me and so many people around the world who would otherwise have not understood exactly, have a sequel. Kim could impact their lives and may have, may have heard about it in some way or another. Not necessarily the movie The Secret, but The Law of Attraction. I think this maybe really drives home how understanding the secret, how understanding the law of attraction can really impact your life in a massive way. And for those of you that are new to my calls, let me just give you a brief one-minute interval who I am and why I can speak on this topic. I came from a place of really the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, struggling financially, a hundred thousand dollars in debt and receiving the sole parent's benefit. And by learning about the law of attraction and applying it in my life, I've gone from totally money challenge to being a millionaire in a short space of time over a period of a few years. And so my number one passion is taking everyone else how to do the same. Because I didn't have any amazing background. I didn't have any genius level of skills. I left school in grade 11. I didn't even finish high school. I didn't have any connections. I didn't have any financial support behind me. But I just took the law of attraction and I married it with practical strategies. And together, I have created amazing success in my life and my mission. My purpose, my calling is now to show everyone else on this planet is even remotely interested how they can do it too. For those of you online that have seen a secret for, those of you that have, you understand that the secret is all about teaching the law of attraction. It's all about learning how to focus on what it is that you want. It's all about learning how to create your own reality. And my passion my number one focus is always about creating more prosperity, more abundance, more success, more riches, more wealth, more money in your life. And you might say, well, why do you want to focus on that? That's so materialistic. Well, let me tell you. Having gone from that place of struggle and being able to transform that in my life, I find that having being able to create those millions in my life has allowed me to free up the areas, all those other areas in my life. My health is better. My relationships are better. I feel so much more peace. I'm so much more creative. I love what I do. I am able to travel the world. So yes, the focus might have been on money, but what that has allowed me to do is allowed me to create a life I love. It's allowed me to create freedom. Not just financial freedom, but freedom itself in my life. And that's what I'm wanting. Money for each and every one of you to be able to create the freedom you desire. The freedom to make choices based on your desires rather than on your bank. Balance the freedom to do what makes your heart seemed. That's why we want to create that financial freedom. That's why we want to attract that money into our life. Don't get stuck on the old saying that you know if, you, if you're wealthy can be spiritual or spiritual. You can't be wealthy because welcome spirituality. The secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, and not mutually exclusive. You can have. Both I consider myself to be a highly spiritual person. I mean, I, I utilize metaphysical principles from metaphysical strategies every day in my life. And I teach them around the world that I'm also wealthy. I love the two together. I don't think I could live if I had spirituality without wealth, but if I had wealth without spirituality, I need the two. And so see, you need to understand that you can have it all, whatever. It is be whatever. As I said, whatever makes you have seen, you can have it. So you need to understand how the secret work. 
So what I'm going to do is have a bit of a discussion. First of all, share a little bit about what I know. Then, as I always do, open the call up for questions so that you can get clarification about what it is that you want to know when it comes to you, the secret, when it comes to the law of attraction. And let me complete before I start. This is just one of the most exciting times in the whole of history to be alive. Honestly, we are just so blessed. Obviously, the movie, The Secret, phenomenal. I teach those principles in my book 125, which are specifically on creating that riches and prosperity and abundance in your life, that because it's all about human consciousness, and every time one person raises their consciousness just by the smallest did, then the rest of the planet gets raised slightly too. And when we have enough people focused on the same thing and all focused on creating a life we love, I'm tapping into the metaphysical, tapping into the law of attraction, utilizing in their life to create the love, the happiness, the joy, the rich relationships, vitality to help. Whatever it is we design, we use that in a life, then it becomes easier and easier when more people do that. Then it will become the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles easier for us all. So you really want to spread the word, wear pants, okay? So first of all, the secret behind the secret. Number one is, yes, you learn how to create your reality. Yes, you learn the law of attraction. You learn about what you focus on is what you create. However, just knowing it isn't enough to transform your world. Just knowing it is not enough to make it work in your life. You actually have to speak in to utilize the principles in the way that suits you. Because the thing is, the law of attraction works for every single person on the planet. Whether or not they know about it or understand it or even believe it, it doesn't make any difference. It works. But everyone, however, what happens is, usually by default, people that don't understand, etc. I usually attracting what they don't want because they don't understand. If they don't understand the law of attraction, then yes, that's focusing on things. That thinking about things. Some of us good, some of their numbers in between, and therefore that's what they're attracting. Some good, some bad, and some in between. But once you understand the secret, once, you understand that what you focus on is what you create. It gives you the opportunity to then make choices. It gives you the opportunity then decide what do I want to create in my life? What do I want to attract into my world? How do I want my tomorrow to be? And that's probably one of the most exciting things, understanding that your very thoughts and your emotion or what paint the picture for your tomorrows, it's almost like you are a movie writer or a scream director, and you get to choose what goes on that movie, that movie of your life, that movie that's going to be showing tomorrow and the next day, and the next day and the next day, you get to select what it is you want to be saying. How do you do that through your thoughts, through your focus? So having a clear understanding of that gives you the opportunity to then make a decision about what you do want to think about. So let's just say in this moment, you're experiencing financial challenges. You're experiencing more bills that you can pay. You're experiencing the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, a little bit of a hiccup in the flow of abundant. Let's just say that your reality right now, that you've got a choice. You can do two things. You can focus on how it is. You can think about how do you can worry about how do you can get scared about how it is. You can you can really put your energy into how it currently is, which is what most people do. And when you do that, when you think about it, when you feel it, when you when you consider it, when you talk about it, when you email others about it, when you get scared about it, when you get sad about it. All you're doing in that moment is putting in an order for exactly the same thing to occur tomorrow, next week, next month, next year. You're putting in an order for the same thing to occur in your future. So that's choice one. Focus on how do you boys to his focus on how you would like it should be and people that don't have any money at the moment and maybe are struggling a little bit financially and experiencing that hiccup in the flow of abundance thinking will. You know, how do I focus on it? I'm consumed with my bills. I'm consumed with my money situation. It scares me. It frightens me. How can I focus on what I do want? 
and I say, look, I've been there too. You know, I've been that $100,000 in debt and receiving welfare from the government was about $15,000 a year. Yes, I mean, sorry, Australian dollars a year. So at that, at that time, exchange, right, I think was, you know, pretty, I don't have a little bad for which one with it was good for trade. You're, you know, bad for Australia, good for you, it's bad for the U.S., but at that time, converted, that, that's added up to about $8,000 U.S. dollars a year to live on me and my two children. Everything. So to say I was struggling with just a massive understates understatement to say I was scared with an even being on the statement, yet I began to understand if I could just change my focus to what it is I wanted and I could begin to attract into my life. And no, it wasn't a matter of suddenly one second changing my focus and think about the abundance. and then. You know, in the next second, the money appeared in my lap. That's not quite the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, how it works. However, what it does is when you begin to focus on what you want, and you put your energy there and you switch your vibration to be there. And that is where your predominant mental attitudes, these toward, they want, that does, is it plants to see your tomorrow. It plants the seeds to your abundance of plants the seeds for the prosperity and the riches that you desire. And so what you find is, and it could be as close as the next hour, the next day, things will start to move. Seeing this will start to change the universe, starts to shuffle things around, and suddenly again, the money may not just appear in your lab that you know you might find you get a discount on something, or someone gives you something that you've been desiring for a long time, or you're offered something for free, or you get a check in the mail you weren't expecting, or you get a capture journal. You know on and on things start to happen to show you that you actually are in the flow. And then when that happens, you start to feel more abundant. And as you begin to feel more abundant, then more things start to occur in your life. And then you feel even more abundant. And then even more things start to occur in your life. And then you feel even more about it. And on and on it goes. And that's why the same, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer, is there is a grain of truth to that. Because quite often the rich keep thinking about money and about richness and they continue to attract more of it to pull on the other, and continue to think about their poor circumstances and the poor financial condition. And so that's where their focus is. That's what they continue to create. However, that's not set in stone. The poor can begin to focus on what he said, do want to focus on the abundance and prosperity and the richest of desire, and in doing so, you begin to switch your predominant mental attitude to that of what you do want. And when you do that, that's the audience into the universe, and the universe picks out loud and clear, and that becomes a thing you attract back into your life, and then it's easy, the secret law of attraction metaphysical principles. You feel a little bit more prosperous. It's easy to feel a little bit wealthier. It's easy to feel like you do have a little bit of abundance in your life. And so when you then continue to focus on what is the desire, it begins to grow you begin to attract more, and on and on. Now, some of you on the line might be thinking, well, that's all very well and good, but I am struggling right now. I don't have the cash, the money that I need. I don't have, you know, any prospects. I don't understand how I can change that. I can't even begin to feel abundant and prosperous. How am I going to change anything? I feel stuck. You can feel like that. Sometimes I totally, I totally understand. I've been there. However, it's one of those things. It's like that saying, you've got to fake it till you make it. You've got to make it up in your imagination first. That's how I'll come. So let me give an example. Yes. Right now, I currently live on the most beautiful island surrounded by multi-million dollar homes. You know, many of the people have beautiful yachts and they're all very successful. Now, at one stage, I obviously couldn't afford to live on an island like this. However, something that I could have done, and which I did do to help me feel more prosperous, was to drive to areas where they were beautiful, home expensive home times that I would love to learn. But instead of going there from a place of lack and driving and looking at these glorious homes and thinking, it is not fair. I wish I could have one of them. 
Why can't I have a house like that? What's wrong with me that I cannot create something like that? That's a place of lack that's coming from a place and make a very strong statement that I don't have that in my life when that is your statement, when that is the energy or giving out when it when it's your predominant mental attitude and your vibration you're sending to the universe. Then what you get back is I don't have that in my life and you continue to not have that in your life. However, if you, the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, visit that same area, look at those. Same beautiful home, you know, the people with the beautiful cars and the yachts, etc. You look at that, and if that's something you would like to look at them feel, that is for me, I can imagine myself living in that house. I can just imagine myself driving in that beautiful driveway and opening that front door and walking through that glorious huge mansion and making my way to the kitchen and getting a beautiful glass of fresh juice and then wandering out to the back outside area and maybe taking a seat by the pool under the umbrella where I'm shade. And it's lovely and cool and I have a beautiful view of no, whatever it may be see you and maybe beautiful river maybe a beautiful valley or a forest or cityscape, whatever it is for you, but imagine that you can have that half in your life and you can choose any one of those homes and that you know you may not have it right now. But just imagine what it would be like. Actually own one. Just get yourself in that feeling place. Just imagine. And by imagining it, that is how you create us. By not just imagining, though, you've got to get very clear this is another secret. Imagining it alone will not do it. Saying the words alone will not do it. You know, having the picture in your mind alone will not do it. What creates is the feelings behind the feelings behind the words, and the pictures is what creates your world. Because you could be in a situation now where you don't have a lot of money, and you may be saying to yourself, okay, I want to be a millionaire. So I'm going to say to myself over and over, I am now, you know, I am now money. And you could say that a hundred times a day with no feeling whatsoever and just say it over and over and over and over again. And you would not have the same attracting power as if you just stopped for a moment and closed drive and thought to yourself slowly, strongly and slotted your body with the feelings and said in your mind's eye and soared in your mind's eye, the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, I am now millionaire and flood your body with those feelings. And so what you would be doing being that millionaire and felt how you would feel being that millionaire and really connected with that picture and with that feeling of being a millionaire. And was that one with being that millionaire saying it once in that way, feeling at once seeing at once in that way has far more power than just saying the words over and over a hundred times. It's the feeling that create. You need to invoke those feelings in everything you do around attracting what it is you desire into your life. Yes, seed in your mind's eye. Yes, feel it deep within your soul. Yes, say those words out loud, but feel every cell of your being with the feelings. The feelings are what will do it. The feelings of what will create faster. We can easier more in the flow. Far less effort than ever before when you invoke those feelings. It's so important. So important. When it comes to money, the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles. Yes, we can do all the affirmations and visualizations we like. But those seeds that we're planting for the abundance to float us may not actually flourish or balloon, you know, right now. They may not bloom tomorrow. They know may not bloom next week. It might be a month or two before. They do. Therefore, we need to do something right now to make sure they do bloom. The way it works is, yes, you can focus on the abundance and prosperity and the wealth and the riches and having everything work out exactly the way you want. That's the seeds that you planned. However, once you plant the seeds, if you then, from that point onwards and start to experience, maybe the cash flow isn't quite the way you like it to be. And so you get a bit scared when you get scared and you put a lot of energy into the fact that you don't have the money that you want flowing to you right now. In essence, what you do is cancel that fabulous order for more abundance and prosperity and wealth that you put in yesterday. You cancel about with that fear. With that was focusing on how you are money challenge, because that now 
becomes your order, because the energy in that is far stronger than the energy in wanting to create that wealth use time every morning, and if possible every night as well, to just you know take that small amount of time out of your day to set the intention of how you want it to be. And that alone will help you to create the success you desire so much quicker than if you spend all day every day doing the doing. The practical stuff doing the stuff that everyone else in the world knows about you need to utilize the secrets from the principle or the principles from the secret to actually make it work for you quicker and easier than ever before. Number one thing to remember is when you decide you want to attract something into your life, whether it's a new job, a new business, an amount of money in your relationship, whatever it is you want in that moment, that's what your heart desires in that moment. That's what makes your heart sing, and so that's fabulous. By all means, focus on it. Put everything you've got into that understanding that if it arrived in your life and it's not what you want, the universe is not going to look down at you and go, Oh my gosh, you I'm grateful. So and so, you wanted that in your life. I delivered it to you, and now you change your mind. That doesn't happen. The universe does not care how many times you put in an order for anything. You, you're here at this smorgasbord. You can have whatever your heart desires. You can decide to have the chicken and the beef one day and the prawns and the lamb the next day. It doesn't matter the secret law of attraction, metaphysical principles, so it's the same. With creating everything in your life, you have a smorgasbord of relationships and financial situations and amounts of money to come into your life and businesses and jobs and everything, and you get to choose and you can choose one thing, and you can have it come into your life, and you can decide it's not for you. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I mean, I don't know how many times I used to get hung up on the fact that, Walt, firstly, I couldn't decide what I wanted because I want one thing one day and one thing the next. It doesn't. It didn't matter. I just decided that, as long as I was clear that I wanted something wonderful, and I let the universe know each time I focused on something that I wanted this or something greater this or something better for all concerned, I made that little the video at the end of my affirmations in my visualizations. And I didn't necessarily just say it, but I just felt it. I felt that I either won of this or something even better. Because I knew the bottom line was, the universe is there to give you everything your heart desires and more and more, because you can always decide on what's best for you, can always decide what it is you actually want. But the universe gets the essences of vibration, gets the essence of that, and will bring you that, and something even greater. So don't get hung up on the fact that you can, you're not clear on exactly what it is that you want, and that you may keep changing your mind, and you don't want to commit to one. Just pick anything that makes you feel great. Focus on that. Because the exciting thing is the why it all works, is you and all your thoughts and your emotions, and everything in this universe is made up of those tiny, vibrating energy package. That's all we out with. All just bundles of energy. And wherever your energy or the other word for it is, wherever your vibration is, is where you begin to attract. So if you just can't make up your mind what it is you want, but you just can't think of one thing that would be nice. Even if you keep changing your mind about it, and you focus on your feet, and you feel it, and you really believe that it's yours, and you feel wonderful and happy and full of joy, what that, what happens in with you energetically is you move into that joyful, high-energy, wonderful feeling vibration, that frequency, if you will. So everything else in the universe that will bring you that joy and that happiness and that feeling, wonderful, everything else on that frequency is then available to you, and you can start to attract into your life, even if you haven't said this is exactly what I want. That's why, when it comes to the law of attraction, the better it gets, the better it gets, and the worse it gets, the worse it gets. So the better it gets, the more you focus on how good it is, and so you continue to attract more good, and then you focus on how good that isn't. It continued direct more and more and more. And so the good thing is about that, ever said you just need to get clear on just one thing that you have to bring in your life, and that would bring you joy and happiness and fulfillment and whatever it is you're desiring and really give that.
You're all, give it all your energy, all your focus. You know, really put your whole heart and soul into it. See it, feel it affirmative, and then that will put you in the vibration for all those other wonderful things to flow into your life. It's just the way the universe works that is one of the secrets to the secret. You don't necessarily have to be crystal clear on everything you want to bring into your life. The Secret Law of Attraction Metaphysical Principles